Alright, good day everyone and welcome back. So, we are playing Interliminality today because it just got a big update. In fact, an entire new episode is out, so a lot of new levels. And I was a little bit surprised because this game around a month ago just blew up out of nowhere. Like, it averages two to 5,000 players a day. And it's been that way for a very long time now, so it's not like just some random little blip of, you know, people discovering the game and just forgetting about it. No, this is actually like a really big game now, which is insane to see. And I mean, it deserves it. It's a really good game. A few of the devs in here actually watch the channel. I know I've played Buggo's game before. They've watched uh, Serbo is EM Philia. He's the GOAT. And local cashier, he's around too. So we know a lot of these guys. They're all crazy. They're all cool. They make this insane game when I can barely upload videos on time. But I thought that there was going to be an update on 520. And I assumed it was for Interliminality Chapter 3. But maybe they just vetoed this update or something because the game's getting so much attention. Which, you know what, that makes sense. But... I'm going to get right into this. I don't want to sit through the intro and yap for a long time. That's typically what I do at the very end, if you haven't noticed. But yeah, we're going to get right into this. I've played episode one and episode two. You can check out my other videos on it. But yeah, let's get right into this. I am excited to see what this is like. Okay, I am inside of the lobby. It looks like they changed it up a little bit. Got a lot of plants all over the place. I like it. I'm on my alt account. I play this game called Iron Assault a lot, where you like play as a country and you take over other people. So I have bot accounts that I use to, you know, play other countries and then extract the resources from them and then send them to the one that I'm playing on my main account and then, uh, you know, go in and destroy the one that I was extracting the resources from. Yeah, it's called Iron Assault, but yeah. Oh boy, here we go. We're going through the intro now. Shit's about to get real. We're about to get into the game. Yes, this game contains flashing lights, so if you're gonna die from a Roblox game, let me know. And we got the Interliminality logo. Very based. Oh boy, I'm excited for this. Oh, what is this? So this is the real world. What the hell happened here? Who said it's the real world? Me? Is it just a delusion? It's, uh, similar to what the loading screen was. It's all plants, and the ambiance is very nice. This is actually very relaxing. Just birds chirping, and a subtle white noise with a little bit of echo. Pretty cool. Uh, what is this? Got some computers. Oh, and a piano. We got a handprint thing for a nice nation giver. <laughs> oh, okay. Something just opened. Let's see. Terminal film. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hello, boys. I hear a phone call. Hey, Tony, we got a phone call. Pick that shit up. Finally, someone picked up the phone. Yeah. I am so glad to see somebody else made it out of the television alive. I did. I do not have much time to talk, so I'm okay. going to make this quick. Listen, Bet. turning the director off does not do anything if you really want to get out of this place safely. Are you about to die? Is like uh, I'm aware. I'm aware. Yeah, okay, I assumed. G good luck. Okay. Oh. Okay, well. Rest in peace. Godspeed. Alright, goodbye. Well, hopefully he didn't die. If so, rip in the chat for telephone, man. What is this? Got some candles, and some chairs, and all sorts of stuff. We got a table there. What is going on? What am I walking in on, dude? Okay. Wait, it's this place. Oh, okay. What is this? Oh, it's very quiet now. What is this one? Hmm, should I go that way, or should I go this way? Uh, I don't know. I feel like this is a bad idea. Why is it so dark? Oh, okay. We're just gonna... What are these sounds? I can't even go through here. The sign is lying to me. The cake is a lie. Okay. Where do I go? Oh, 
What is that? Oh, red button. Oh shit. We gotta find a code. What do I do? I just do this. I can interact with this thing. I think I need to look for a number for the monitor or something. I genuinely have no clue. And this place is a huge maze. And I feel like I'm going to be stuck in here for 30 minutes. Because I do not do well on this type of stuff. Can I vent? No. Uh, there's another room. What is this? What? What does the red button do? We got the computer too? Okay, I'm sure we'll figure it out. There's probably like a certain order that I gotta press the buttons in. Or something like that, I would assume. That's typically how this type of stuff goes. Yeah, look. What do the numbers mean? Huh, wait. Maybe this is like the seventh one that I gotta come and find? I don't know. Wait, yeah, look. Two. Oh. What is that? Is that- Okay, that's just an exit sign. Yeah, I'm finding the exit to this place. Not too sure where the first keypad is, but- Oh. What? Alright, maybe I'll just- No. Okay, we got another camera. Cool. What is this? You hear that? There's like some caretaker Libet's delay type music playing. I don't know where that's coming from. It seems to be an unreachable point. Unless, wait, no. Oh, this place is huge. Oh, very, very nice. Oh, it's even spinning. Look at that. The attention to detail. Ooh, I like the music. Goes very hard. Although, I do not know what I am supposed to do. I am very confused. Do I just, like, match it with the number? I'm so stupid. Like, sometimes I wonder if I should just, like, institutionalize myself. Because, like... I- how did I not get this? What am I doing with my life? I should just go, um, jump off a bridge of Minecraft. And, uh, you know, never mind. YouTube is gonna kill me. That Rumble channel might come in handy later on, I never really know. I'm just waiting for the day I get striked for, like, no reason. Ooh. What the fuck is that? What? Okay. Well, I'm not too sure. How you avoid this, but I gotta figure it out. Alright, is it like attract Oh. Is it like attracted by sound or by light or what? I have no clue. But it looks pretty creepy. Why is it doing an exclamation mark thing? Oh shit, it's coming after me. Uh oh. Never mind. Okay. Seven. Alright, wait. Shit, I screwed it up. Okay. There we go. Five. There we go. One, I hear it. I don't know where it is, but I'm just gonna focus on this. There we go. What is... Why is my camera, like, looking up? I think it's right outside, if I had to guess. Yeah, okay. Two out of seven. Oh, where is it? I don't know. Okay. Oh, shit, it's right there. All right, um... Well, maybe... I, I genuinely don't know what trips it off, so... It's probably going to be a little bit of trial and error. I mean, I got relatively close to it, and it didn't really seem to get angered by the noise. So maybe it's like you have to be right in front of it for it to, you know, start wanting to kill you. Which that could very damn well be the case. Although I have zero clue. But we're almost done with this. Come on. Let's go. All right. We have three out of seven. Very good. It's over there. It's really close. Wait, there's a computer here. Okay. Oh. It's... Alright. I don't know if I should be doing this when it's that close, but I'm just gonna trial and error. Come on. Oh, come on. I went one over, and I have to redo it. Okay, it's fine. One. There we go. Cool. Four out of seven. Not bad. I'm gonna run down here, though. Uh, there's no computer. Maybe there's one here. No. Man, I haven't had any encounters with this fella. Probably for the better, but... Oh. 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 He's right there. Okay. Unless he's not. I, I have zero clue. Come on. Let's just get through this. I gotta go so far. Oh, no. I keep going one over. Are you serious? Bro. Come on. Come on. Three. There we go. Five out of seven. Very good. I'm just waiting 
for his little white ass to show up. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's on the other side of the wall. Oh, shit. Uh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. I'm straight up. I'm cooked. Nope. It's over. It's over for me, boys. Unless I can just hide in here? Oh. There he is. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh. Yikes. Okay. I don't think he can come in the rooms. So. That's good. I wonder if this is like Baldi's Basics where he gets more aggressive as you play, you know? Damn, that is a nostalgic game. Baldi's Basics. Oh man. I drop one in the chat if you want me to play Baldi's Basics. Oh boy. Um. Where do I go? I- oh, wait, no. I already did this one. See, I feel like this is gonna be a reenactment of the Terror Hotel. Escape the back rooms where I look around for the very- Oh, that's just the music. I- It keeps tripping me up. I think it's the monster, but... Back when I played Escape the Back Rooms... Oh man, I talk about this so much, but the Terror Hotel level was just... The worst thing ever. It took me like two hours to get through it because I couldn't find one piece of paper and I just had to cheat and like get through it because it took so long and I was sweaty and I was miserable and I was tired. Yeah, I don't know. I always end up, I, I'm like cursed with having to look around for absolute ages just to find the final thing to get out of any like fucking maze or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. This guy seems to be kind of chill though. As long as I'm, like, not in his space, he doesn't seem to attack. Oh. Okay, he's right there. Although I think, I think I'm fine. He walked right past. Yeah. Okay. Get ready for me running around in a loop for 30 hours. Because that's how things go. I don't really know where I am. Or what I'm doing. I just know... That my purpose is to escape. And I keep running in the same fucking area over and over again. I will never find the final computer. I wish I knew what to do from the very start. That would have helped a lot. But, you know. Oh, well, never mind. I found the last one. Okay, four. There we go. Five. Man, this is nice. I like how these are just easy little tasks. Sure, my smooth brain takes like 30 minutes to figure out that you just have to match the numbers on the computer, but this is much better than doing some like... Oh, wait, it's already done. It's much better than doing some like, I don't know, boss fight or something like that. Or some like riddle where you have to match the numbers or whatever. But yeah, where's the exit? I completely forgot. I mean, I'll find it when I see it, but you know. Uh, is it down here? I think, yeah. Yeah, it's right here. So it probably opens this up. Yes, it does. Alright, cool. There seems to be a lack of elevators. Well, this is really quiet. Nothing crazy going on. But yeah, there's no elevators in this. At least so far, it's just doors. What is this? Like an... Oh, it's... The director's way of forcing us to stay here was interesting. Or more interesting. Yeah, indeed. This is, I think, level 108 or something? I don't really remember the name of it, but one of my favorite backrooms levels. That's for sure. Is there a way to use this? There is, but I want to check this out real quick. Now that liminal space. That one's cool. Really realistic chairs again. Nice little rest stop, but we found an elevator. Let's go. My statement of there being a lack of elevators is now disproven. So, yeah. Sorry. Okay. What is this? Uh, there's a phone ringing. We got a phone. Alright. Cool. Uh, hello? Wait, is it gonna be the guy? Ooh, hello again. Hey. As of right now, I am completely safe. Are you so, a skinwalker? I have a little more time to talk. First okay. Of all, I am in the building security office, so I can see you on the cameras. Um, there is actually a camera in the room you're in right now, so uh, feel free to wave at it. Anyways, where? It seems to be way worse than I initially thought. Yeah. The spider thing that you encountered does not belong in the real world. 
new oh. music director is awake again and is letting things from the TV world into the real world. I see. Now, if you want to get out of here alive, I need you to listen to me very, very carefully. Okay. The place you're in right now is called the Living Quarters. And much like the other places in the building, it too has its own dangers. Obviously, when you leave this room, we can't keep talking. It's okay. not like you can carry the phone everywhere, but I will, and I mean, I'm assuring you, I will be watching you on the cameras. Okay, maybe uh, that's not so much of an assurance, but yeah. at least I'll see if you're still alive. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to hang up on the phone now, so stay safe. Alright, Th thank you. I don't know if I trust you because the last time I spoke to that guy, he was borderline, well, he was being chased by something. And he very damn well could be something like the Mandela catalog. Uh, you know, he's getting a doppelganger. Uh, what is this? Indoor hotel. Oh no, lies. He doesn't care for you. He just wants control. We take pride in what we do here at Interluminality Film and Media Offices. This is why I, the director, believe that we should have an indoor hotel for all our... Oh no. Is this the Terror Hotel? Okay. Much like our indoor transportation system, we want our actors to feel like they're capable of doing whatever they may need to do in the outside world right in this building. This is because we feel it is important that they can have a second home that's underlined for some reason of sorts. Our hope with this project is to ensure that our actors can stay at this place for however long they want and leave whenever they want without any risk. Thanks, the director. Thank you for that. I'm hoping I'm not walking in on their terror hotel. Uh, I have post-traumatic stress disorder from- What the- What is this? What is going on here? We got a bunch of chairs lined up against the wall. Man, I don't feel like I'm in the real world. I feel like I'm in like- Oh, I jumped. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? You're chill. You're completely fine. Trust me. Where do I go? Wait a second. Oh no. I gotta do parkour. 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 Okay, cool. Listen, damn. You probably hear me slamming my space key, but I like to slam my sp- Oh. Well, I was just about to say I like to slam my space key so I really know that I click to jump. So it bypasses my- sound canceling but anyways we only died one time unfortunately no zero deaths but it's fine whatever i kind of wish i got killed by that thing in the last level though i kind of wanted to see what its kill animation was oh well you can always do it later if i really wanted to what is this we got a little cat very cool i do not like the flickering and this door is being held with a chair. So we're basically just living in a simulation and the director just kind of laughs at us and watches us get tormented by, you know, these things. Okay, I gotta jump across here. Yes. Okay, I like this. This is something new. Instead of getting chased by monsters, we get a little bit of parkour, which I think is fun. Okay, we're venting. That is such an old meme, I should shut up. Okay. Ooh. Is this a vent level? No way. Oh, this is sick. And we got some, like, caretaker music playing in the background. Okay. Alright, let Interliminality cook. Let EM Filia cook. I am totally in for this. I love it. Okay. Do we go down? Whee! Wow. Yeah, I have bad claustrophobia, so if we get chased by something, that'd be very good. Uh, does that mean I should go that way, or is there danger because of those three check marks, or exclamation marks? Oh my- Yep, yep, I literally told you that. Why is it say I'm spectating? Okay, I think that's for multiplayer, but yeah, that's literally what I said. I knew that something like that was gonna happen, but what do you know, I just decided to walk right into it. Wait, hold on. There's no exclamation marks there anymore. Should I still go? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's good. Um, I'm going left. Sorry, but I don't buy that. Unless it's like reverse psychology. Here we go. 
please. Yes, this is very good. I wish I was being chased by something. Although, I feel like I'm able to bait this thing now. I'm not falling for their little trap anymore. They think they can get me, but oh, they are terribly mistaken. You see, I'm not going that way. I figured that out rather quickly. I knew before I was even getting killed that that was what was going to happen, and yet I still decided to go. Whatever. Okay. Well, we're probably almost out of here, but this is interesting. I like the vent level. Very unique. Wait a second. Look at that. It has no exclamations on it, so it's probably good. Or maybe it's not, and I'm about to get killed right here. Nope. Oh, okay. That's it. All right, we're loading in. I liked that. I love vents. Art gallery. Wait a second. Oh, hey, that's the fella from the thumbnail of the game. Cool. All right. Hello. Hey. Are you there? Yes. You're getting so close to escaping. No, I'm not. You're leading me into a death. There seems to be something running through the halls in the section, but I can't oh. quite identify what it is. Once that's you get great. Past the section, it should be pretty easy. Good luck. You're going to need it. Okay. Well, I guess I'm screwed. I probably am. There's a very good chance, but, you know, we'll try our darndest. Hopefully, I'll get through. I don't like that there's something running around, but here we go. Alright. Uh, there. Okay. Shit's about to get real. What the... Okay, there's a lot of dots. I need to click the dots. I think. Oh. Yep. There it is. I hear it. It's running through. Oh! What the? Holy shit! What the? Why is that thing so fast? Okay. That's the fella from the thumbnail of the game. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh! 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 Okay. What the hell just happened? Alright. I got it. Wow, that is a really realistic... Who models this stuff? Look at this. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. I, I matched it, but look, uh, okay. Uh, I gotta stop glazing this game so much. I gotta find something to criticize, but unfortunately, oh, unfortunately I can't. Where is it? I don't know, okay. I don't know if I can go in there. Uh, wait, there's something in here? Yes, all right, cool. That's easy. Interesting. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, wait, never mind. Oh, look. There's a door down here. Nothing here, though. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, dude. I wasn't expected that. I have to... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. Holy shit, I'm so dead. This is gonna take me so long. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. It's over. Nope. Nope, we're fine. Oh, I hate getting chased. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, he's right there. I don't know what this little gloop glob thing is, but he's very interesting. And he seems to teleport through the pictures. So, that's quite interesting. Alright, cool. Go, go, go. Alright, and then, yeah, he's coming out of... He's gonna come through this one. I should probably stay away from his spawn points. Um, oh wait, look, there's one in here. Okay, that was easy. We got an instant one. Very cool. There's one here. Maybe there's one here. No. Okay. Wait, yes. There's one here. Bro, we're getting so many. Alright, cool. Gotta be really careful here. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Although, I think I got most of them? I don't really know. Okay, he's close. He is really close. Oh, look. Yes. Alright, maybe there's one in here. Yes. Yo, this is... I'm so goaded. I am goaded with the sauce. Very big W. Okay, there we go. It just opened. Very good. I just gotta get back. Maybe I could just let him kill me and then it'd, it'd give me an easy teleport. Although, I don't know. I think I'm already about to die. Oh, wait. Hold on. Am I almost out? Yes. I am. Okay, cool. We're out. Apparently that was a hard part, or that guy could have been lying. I honestly have zero idea on if I should believe him or not, but whatever. But we have the Interluminality TV head logos. Oh, question mark. Transportation. Oh, 
Fuck. A is the first number. C is the second number. B is the third number. D is the fourth number. Okay. Well, I think we're looking for the number of roses. Yeah. Can I go through here? No. Wait. Well, yeah, but there's nothing really there. Okay, so three... And then where's C? Three... Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, nine, and then where's B? Three, nine, three? Wait, no, it's four, nine, three. Four, nine, three, six. I think that's it. If not, I am dumb. I am very dumb. Okay, please. Yes, it worked. All right, four, nine, three, six. That's the code. What do we got here? That's some luggage. Very nice. Oh, train. We found a train station. Finally, a real way out. Oh, buddy. Uh, there's no way this is a real way out. Oh, it's the TV head, man. I knew I was getting baited this whole time. Wait, or maybe not. Maybe it was just him trying to kill me. I don't know. I think that guy... That guy on the radio, I don't trust him. I've learned to have, like, zero trust and thi- Oh, the director's coming. I need to move quickly. Uh, where do I go? Do I open this? Okay. I'm dead. I'm straight up dead. Bro. How am I gonna get through this? Oh, fuck. He's really coming fa- I'm screwed. How are you supposed- to All right. Well, it's over, but- at least I tried. This door takes a little bit long to get through, but but that's perfectly fine. I don't know why, but my mic is kind of cutting out, and I don't know if that's picking up an OBS, but I guess I'll figure it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Okay. I'm actually doing fine, although I don't want to jinx myself. Please. Please. Let me through, let me through, let me through, okay. We're going. So apparently that guy is the director. The guy who's holding us captive in this, I don't know, simulation. The very first entity in the game, I think it is at least, in Interliminality Chapter 1, I think that's where he appeared on the first level. Because I don't know, I think I remember it being that, but I assume I'm probably right. Okay, come on. I'm not looking back. I don't want to see him. I just want to get out. There's got to be a way out of here. Come on. You know what? I do kind of want to see him. Okay, he's really slow, so I'm chill. Although this is really tense. I feel like it, the doors are taking me too long and I'm getting way too close to him. Come on. Please tell me this is it. Please tell me. Wait, I don't hear him. Nope, 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 nope. He's still there. He's still there. Run, run, run. Run, run, come on. Please, please, come on. Okay, that one's open. This one's open too. All right, it's starting to get a lot more clogged. Cool. Oh, okay, wait, this is the exit. Oh, thank God. Did I escape? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, we are on a train track and we can get a bottle of things. What would this taste like? Almond water or something? I have zero idea. We got a Saturday, May 2002, a year after the attacks. Message to communications addressed to blanked out. Purpose extermination notice. Oh no. This note has been sent as a means of finalizing your extermination from the Interluminality Film and Media Office's company. As of today, May 23rd, 2002, you have been fired from the company. Reason, noise complaints, leaving unnecessary and misleading notes around the office, breaking office rules. Boo-hoo. We all tell a lie now and then. Uh, your job as an electrical manager in the telephone slash communications field will be looking for replacements as you pack up your stuff in the office tomorrow. Good luck finding jobs elsewhere. The director... I was fired for knowing the truth. I left messages, but it was too late. Ah, uh, yes, they're, it's misinformation, guys. Definitely not real, I'm sure. Uh, oh, holy. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Me, me neither, bud. I'm right there with you. Um, okay. 
He's calling. Hello, buddy. Oh, thank God you're alive. Yes. I was so worried you wouldn't make it out alive. I barely I did. It's time for you to leave. I can't come over there and leave with you. I'm afraid. Oh, I've no. I've got more people to try and save. So, I guess this is well, goodbye. Why don't you just leave? I'm you don't have again. to help them. Dude, wait. Are we actually out? Is this, like, the end of inner liminality? Is there gonna be another chapter? No, there's no way this is the end. This is, like, a sub-level, right? It has to be. Oh. Oh, okay. Inner liminality season one. Oh, wow. By the battle Beatles made by Evan. Oh, he made a copy of it. Or a cover, I mean. Wow, this is good. Created by Evan and Buggo. It's just them? Bro, this guy is like a polymath. Developed, scripted, and built by Evan, Buggo, and Zid. Holy shit. This guy, I don't understand how you do all this. Literally a polymath. Bro, like, makes fire music covers. He makes fire games. He makes fire videos. I don't understand, and I here I am. I can barely post videos a few times a week. I envy you, Evan. You are insane. Wow, hospital level built by Stephen G. That was a cool level. Wow. Damn, so that was season one, so there's gonna be like... Probably a million more. Art by one underscore OS, Mouse from 18, Buggo and Evan. Buggo made a really good game too. World's Edge. It's like this, and it's really good. The painting entity created by O18. Oh, so that's what that thing was called. The painting. That makes sense. Man, I'm just kind of vibing to this music right now. The Mahler Entity, created by Maelstrom. I think the guy that makes the soundtracks for these games, um, for The Backrooms Infinite, which is a game that Evan worked on, uh, actually, like, commented on my last video on Interliminality too. so that's funny. We got a lot of these guys in here. Man. Phone voice acting by Amaz Plays. W voice acting though. That guy sounded terrified like he was actually about to die. So that was very good. Good job, dude. And yeah, local cashier. We know him. He's a W man. He's been around for a while too. Wow. Dude, this. Oh, dude, we're in the credits. <laughs> Again? What the fuck? Thank you. Thank you for putting me in the credits. Oh, thank you for everything. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, Evan, you're a fucking goat. Bro, put me in the credits back in the, the Backrooms Infinite, too. That's funny. End of season one. More coming soon. Damn, that was good. And the outro music is fire as hell. Like, that cover's unironically good. Wow. I am astonished. Whoa. We, we got a teaser, maybe? teaser in the next season. I think that's what this is. Oh, nope. It's over. Holy shit, guys. Well, that was crazy. That was really good. Probably the best season so far, or episode so far. That was really good. I feel like they're really building on this game a lot, and it's getting better over time. Like, you know, most games when, you know, the, the more that they add to them, the worse they get usually, because, you know, you start adding like a million levels just to add stuff, and there's a bunch of filler, but no, this game, it's amazing. And I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I, I am, I don't understand how they crank out these levels so fast. I think the last update was like two months ago now or something, and we already got another which for that many levels and like the modeling and you know scripting all that stuff stuff that i couldn't even really begin to comprehend um they did it very quickly they got it out and i think it was 15 days earlier than what was initially scheduled for because i'm recording this on cinco de mayo so 
but it might be coming out on the 6th. Oh man, well, yeah, that's Inner Liminality. I've played this game since before it was cool to play it. I remember it was actually a local cashier who suggested to me to play another game called The Backrooms Infinite, which was made by this whole crew. And uh, it was before Inner Liminality, I think. And they released that. And when I played it, I was blown away because I, I had just gotten done playing Escape the Backrooms, a few other, you know, Backrooms games as well. But I had just gotten done playing those. And like, you know, I heard the suggestion to play that game. And I was like, oh, OK, that sounds interesting. And then I got in and like the Backrooms Infinite, it's like essentially escape the back rooms. I mean, this one is a little bit more like it because you're getting chased by entities, but with that one, it's just like kind of more exploration based, doing puzzles, things like that. But I know they're uh, kind of discontinuing the game, I think, but it's really good too. And it, it didn't blow up as much as this one, which is kind of a shame because it's still a great game. Um, this one is also equally as cool. And there's a lot of content in it. It's a lot of fun to play with friends. I actually played it with some of my friends. Yeah, it was a good bit of fun. But damn, to be putting the credits on this game and the Backrooms Infinite. Keep in mind, when I played, when I played the Backrooms Infinite, I had like, I don't know, 200 or 400 subscribers or something. So I was just like, completely non-existent and then there was some other guys who were on the wall there who had like at least 10,000 so it's just like I don't know it's kind of funny to see your name on the credits of a really good game when you're just some shitty let's play channel like you know I don't know but go play this for yourself it's a lot of fun and it's free I mean, if you want to, you could go in the lobby and donate Robux if you have Robux, but it's not like this is something you gotta buy on Steam. Free game, donate if you can. It helps them out a lot so they can keep making these episodes. And trust me, I'm not sponsored. I know I'm glazing a lot, but I do genuinely enjoy these games. I mean, I have a tendency to just stop playing games that I don't like. If you could tell by my channel where I start a series and then I end it after a few videos, that's just kind of how it goes because I just record shit for fun. But yeah, really good season of the game. I liked the voice acting. I don't think they had that in episode two or episode one, I believe. But I remember that episode one, when this game was first released, there was not much to it other than I think like the first few levels where you encounter the the purple tv head man who is the game master i guess and a few others but then they kind of updated the game and then they added in a few more levels to episode one to kind of refine it and then episode two came out i think and episode two was really cool it had a hospital which is the, the one on the picture for this season right here and or episode and they had a lot of other levels in there like a high school type of thing and you had to kind of do red light green light and then there was an april fools update a few weeks ago which i actually played i think i played it on like the last day before it was done because i'm never on time but hey with this i'm actually basically on time i am one day late to it technically because you know the time this is going to go up but i don't know overall super good game um i'm gonna stop rambling i have i do you guys have a problem with me rambling for so long at the end of the videos because i feel like it it's not really fitting but i always just end up doing it anyways let me know if i should keep rambling or if i should just shut the fuck up and then leave but you let me know anyways big dubs to emphilia who's Serbo and Buggo and local cashier and everybody in here. I'm going to link all three of the games in the description that these guys have been working on. I know they have a new game that just kind of came out that they're working on. It's called Meg Endless Reality, I think 
it is. I might play that soon, but apparently it's inspired off Content Warning, which is a game I've never played before on the channel, but I have played it with friends, but... And Lethal Company and Escape the Backrooms, I think. But yeah, great game. I'll link all of them in the description. Very big dubs. We got put in the credits. That's crazy as fuck. Anyways, no more yapping. I'm gonna go now for real. Hope you all have a good day. Thank you so much to our members too. They help a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.